on behalf of you members to welcome the new board. Somebody said we were missing a father and a mother. No, we were having a father, but we didn't have a mother. <laughs> and then also to thank the CS and his team for appointing an able team to come and work with us in order to be able to meet the challenges that we are facing from the current, uh, uh, I mean, from the industry currently. I want to assure you, board members, that we have a mouthful of activities, decisions, and guidance that we expect from you. Very many things are happening right now. I must thank the chairman that despite the fact that we had the absence of the board, he worked very closely with us to ensure that we even fulfilled the most fundamental ones. As we speak now, we have very many activities lining uh, 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 on our way for us to be able to, uh, to, to fulfill. One of them is the 46 resource centers that uh, we are hoping uh, to have them completed by June this year. This is uh, uh, an activity or, or a program that CA, alongside with the Kenya National Library Services, have come together under an MOU to digitize or give connections uh, to all the light public libraries in the country. Honorable Minister and board members, we succeeded in finalizing our access cap study only just a few weeks ago. It was delivered, and one of the things that came out of the access cap study is that we still have not covered 100% uh, of uh, the Kenyan population nation, which was our target. Actually, I, I have seen the, uh, had the chairman a number of times when we were talking, talking about our vision of access to and use of information uh, and communication services by all come 2018. So this 5.6% that is remaining is really a, a bottleneck in us trying to deliver on our strategy. We are hoping that uh, with the new strategy that we are coming up in the implementation of the Universal Service Fund, which includes putting up transmitters in eight uh, of, the, of the counties uh, that were most affected from the report that we received from our access card study, and also connection of 1,000 schools to internet, which both are at the cost of 1.5 billion in the 2016-2017 financial year, we will be able to have made another mark in the industry. Our board members, we at the Communications Authority of Kenya, and I'm speaking on behalf, have seven values that gives us the top scale of those transparent organizations that we want to be. One of them, and I will not recall all of them, because I think while the board, the, the board members were speaking in the boardroom, I had one of them uh, talking about transparency. Actually, transparency here is one of our core values. And we define transparency ourselves as CA, not any big English dictionary uh, definition. Transparent as being accountable for all the activities or responsibilities that you do. We have integrity to follow transparency. And we define integrity ourselves is doing what is right if, even if nobody is watching you.